How are you guys? This is called Free Majuri with another C programming language uh, tutorial. So on this video, we will be making a histogram. So the question we are going to be answering is this. So it is saying uh, in a class, the students are grouped according to their test score for the purpose of setting picks. The mark range and the number of students in each group are as follows. Draw a histogram to highlight the group size. So um, first let me just show you the kind of histogram that we are going to come up with. So this is the like the histogram that we are going to draw, right? So but first um, we want to make this easy for us because when we are printing in C, we like um, write from left to right. right? Uh, did I say that correctly? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to rotate the, the histogram so that it will first like it will start from the left to right so in this way it will be very much easy to draw the histogram going this side and then uh second thing we also want to change the labels and also write the labels starting from the left to right so we want to come up with a histogram that is exactly like this so at the end of the video we have something like this and i also uploaded the program files on my website so i'll show you on how to download the program files at the end of the video so enough with this talking, let's get into business. Okay, how are you guys? Uh, we wanna make a histogram like this. So I'll just break this down into smaller pieces so that you would understand everything that I'll be doing. So the first part that I wanna deal with is uh, teaching you how to make a rectangle, this basic rectangle. So, uh, first, let me see if I can zoom this out. Okay, so I think this font will, is is fine, right? Okay, so to make a rectangle like that, we will need for loop, for and uh, we will need a row. So first, I will declare a variable here and call it row and give it a initial value, which is one. And then uh, we wanna repeat uh, the loop body whenever this row is less than or equal to what uh, let's say i just want to create like a row which i've got like five i want to create like a shape i've got like five rows right uh and um row plus plus okay so let's just see how this row is working out so row uh no what did i just do okay so let's print the uh, let's print uh, the row number and see how it is working so i think i just put a new line here after printing out the loop body every loop body so let's print out the row and um okay so we are having so we are having like oh, come on let me put my magnifier right here okay so we're having like one two three four so these are the rows right so there's also one thing that i want to teach you before we go and find that so what i did here by just putting a new line here i could also just do it by doing so and uh, let me remove this magnifier okay i can also just do it by just like print the earth and also put a new line here right it's still the same right still the same so um, uh, where is my magnifier my magnifier my magnifier i no longer need this okay i think i should now stop like zooming out the output okay 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 the part we need is this so um now uh let's let me run this again and explain okay now we want to print out going to the left from the from the left to the right sorry from left to the right so to do that we will need uh, oh let me let me let me leave this this new line here so this is just creating like the rows right so we want to create another loop body so instead of just printing out we want to create a loop body which is going to print out oh first okay okay so we want to create a for loop here for printing out the columns right so for and uh int call is equals to one then 
when call is less than or equal to let's say we wanna you have like six now we wanna like you have six columns right so and then call plus plus then uh we just wanna print that this print this right so let's see what we'll come up with so we'll come with come up with this basic pin and then uh so we could now make use of symbols for making our shape instead of just numbers instead of number okay so yep we are coming up with the with the with the shape like that so what we now have to go to do is um hey we need a uh, like we have made this basic shape right so now we have like to display this part this label which is like group one so to do that i think it will be very much easy for you to teach you first uh, to display this by making use of another shape so let's say we would like to create another shape here behind this first thing so that's what we want to do and then later on we'll just put this group one label at the center of this shape so don't worry it's not complicated let me just show you very much very quickly so um we said what we said we want to print out a new shape in front of this so to do that i'll just put another for loop here and uh change the, the sign around this so now we have like another shape in front of this first shape right and uh so we want to put like the we want to put like this name at the at the middle so to do that now uh i think instead of using four rows let's make use of three rows so that we we have a sender yep we have this part is our sender okay 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 so now let's do that so to print out that value that label we just have to put like an if statement like we just say whenever uh we are oh, let me just first put the this if statement row is equal to two we want you to print out okay so here i'm saying like when the row is cost to two which is the middle part right where is that uh okay uh, let me first just finish this when row is cost to two which is the middle part we want you to print out we want you to print like this is group what this is group one that's what you want we want you to print right so what's now if we are not at row number two which means the first row row number one and row number three what we do we want to print we want to print this so to do that we have to put an else statement here and say no if we are not at row number row number two print this out and our for loop is ending here so i'll put the oh no i'll put the closing of this else statement here okay so let's see what is the output and uh, i didn't close this let's see the output so now we have our output group one so um instead of now putting these hash let's just remove these ashes and make use of the spaces oh i didn't build and run sorry about that okay so now we have something which is close we are now getting there we're now getting there so um back to our program okay so now what is left for us we will need like value for to put here in front of these five right so to do that i think we're gonna be getting these values from what from an array so let's just make that array very quickly and uh, first let me close this okay and i think i'm just going to remove to unpin this oh sorry about that i want to unpin this from my task bar so that i don't have to move, move move around okay sorry about that 
okay so i was saying like what okay we wanna pre, pre we wanna create a, an array that is gonna hold the values for us so the array is gonna be an integer and then uh, i'll just call the array values and to put this curly brackets and then since we are not getting the values from the use that we are we are initializing this array so there's no need to put the maximum number here of or the maximum size of the array okay so what we have from the table the number of students we've got 5 8 19 16 and 4 5 8 19 16 and 12 uh, let me cross check that okay so um after initializing the array we have now to read the values from the array so to do that we need a for loop and i'll make use of a variable i because we'll be making use of an array we'll be referencing from the array so i will just stand for index so you could use a different variable here but i will just work fine so i'll initialize that array to zero because our array always starts at zero then um, a termination condition here will be saying when i is less than is less than or equal to what oh this time now we are not going to put in equal sign because our array one two has got one two three four five and this is not going okay let's go what one two three four five five elements so we will end at at four so we're saying when the array is less than four or five which means we're going to end at four and um we now have to increment our i which is i plus 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 okay so print f so now we want to just write out the values of this array so percent d then values then the to reference the array will make use of i oh sorry in the case of i here right okay and we will need a new line here i'll just quickly run that and um i didn't close this okay so we are now displaying the array but we also want to write the name of that group so we say like group one, group two, group two, group five. Right. So um, to do that, we just write like sorry um, group. Then instead of uh, just writing the the a constant value here, we have to put a variable. So percent d and. Uh, that value i think i just reference it using an i but then you see that the group will start from zero instead of starting from one because we are using i which is a, an index for this array so um, let me just show you what i mean by doing that okay so we're now starting from zero we just say like group zero is close to five which is not true so to fix that now so here we don't want to create another variable so to just fix that we just add another another we just add one to this i and uh, now we have like group one five and now it is working just fine so we have created the array now we have been reading the array very fine now what we are left with is to present this value for this group in front of the of the bar so to do that we will have to use another if statement and uh, we will be doing that in front of this this loop so we will need an if statement here we say if then we will also want to reference at the middle part because we would like to pre print out this five at the middle part so we just say if row 
is equals to two and then clean that like now so uh, what I'll do here I'll just copy this print and paste it here so uh, we have now to put the value of this array so first I have to create a variable here int and that variable just call it p because uh, I want to use it to point it to the to the array right and the first I'll just give it an initial value which is zero and then um, where is our statement here it is here so percent d then values our array name then p here because we are referencing using p and our initial value is zero so we're going to reference at this five and uh, let me put a space here and run this so you see now that uh, we are having this five and then we will print out the, the values of these uh, these these uh, these these symbols in front so we do not do that so we'll put an error statement here so we'll be saying like if we are not at the middle don't print these values right so to do that error statement and uh, we'll close that error statement after this for loop close the error statement okay so if I run this now now we're no longer printing these symbols at the middle part because uh, we taught this program that if we're not at the middle don't print the symbols but we need these symbols to have our shape so just copy now this for loop and put it here so now what is happening is that it will first print out the, the symbols and then print out the value after the symbols let's check if that is working okay so it is working just fine so now instead of just printing the value let me put the value inside brackets okay so now we wanna we wanna change the shape of this rectangular shape making use of the values from the array so we wanna reference these symbols making use of these five so to do that let me first zoom in zoom out okay so i don't know if you can still see this but I will zoom. I will zoom in uh, after after finding what I wanna find here. So we wanna reference this to this first element, and uh, the symbols that we are changing, we are changing what we are changing these these symbols. So we just have to like write the array name here, and then P, and then I will just copy this. So this now is our termination condition, right? and uh, where is that symbol we are printing? It is here. So we're saying now we will terminate printing this the moment we reach to this value. Right? So let's run that. And now we have got one, two, three, four, five, five values, which is this value, right? So let's say if I change this this value from this first element and I put 18 and debug and run we we'll now have a different shape okay so now that we have uh, our shape which is working just fine we uh, I think before I go any further I think we have to put like the, the line which is down there we have to put a line down there and uh, also one more thing I would like waste where is that row of ours? Okay, let me zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, this is the row, right? Let me check where it is ending. So it is ending here. And uh, I'll print a new line here. Print F and then I'll just put a new line here. So that I won't forget. Then, um, 
I wanna put this this symbol here so that okay I didn't close my new line okay so we wanna have like a straight line going down so we also wanna put a line here so let me just quickly do that so I think before this for loop I can just print the I can just print I can just print print off can print this let me see if that makes sense before I keep on doing that uh, let me run that and I didn't close it sorry about that let me run that okay so you find out now we are working just fine so we are having a line here but then also after these parts let's see if we can put another line down there and it is here it is not where i want it to be it is not where i want it to be let's try to put it here after the new line it will be just here no this is pretty much stupid i'm sorry about that let me remove it okay so i'll figure out where i'll put the other line after re repeating everything here so now we have been uh, able to We have been able to print out this rectangular shape. We have been able to choose the height by the value here. Okay, sorry. By the value here. And also we have been able to print out the group number. So now we just have like to duplicate these and to do that to do make use of a for loop. So uh, this part, the function which have been creating this this uh, this rectangle, we just now have to repeat it so that it will, it will do the same and create other parts here so let's just quickly do that and um i will explain everything after i finish i will zoom this up and start explaining everything so um for now let's say so what i want to do now i want to um, i want to create another for loop not inside this not here I want to create it down here after printing out the values from the loop. So that loop I'll just put it here. And uh, let me think of a name which makes sense here. So we want to create like new groups, right? So we want to create like other groups. So what can what name can I just give it? I can just call, let me first create a variable here. And the loop I'll just say maybe I like groups ah that is groups right seems like it's too big let me just make use of a g is my variable for groups right so you get it so i'll give it a initial value which is one which we are studying from and then um we want to have like how many groups how many groups do we have we have got five groups so then um let me zoom this so we're saying like when when g is less than or equal to 5 repeat everything and then g plus plus we will increment that and then our loop we want it so we want it to end where actually do we want the loop to end so let me first end it here and see if that will make sense and uh let me run this oh yes so we still like having 13 now we haven't been like ref we're just referencing like from the first element so we have now to change the values moving around so to do that uh, but first let me remove this 13 because our array first element we have got five right and um so we just like wanna after printing out the first row we have to change we have to change the value of g so we could say like g is close to g plus one and also which is the same as g plus plus right so let's see if that is working if that is working if that is working okay we're still not changing here we're still not changing here okay so the value i want to change is not g i'm sorry about that i want to change p because the p is the one which we have been using to point to the array right so i'm sorry about that let's see if 
Oh yes. So now we are having, we are having the sharp. We are having the sharp. But now we still have like group one, 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 which is something which we don't want, right? So um, we have to fix that. We have to like write the name of the group here. So, but first I uh, wanna make sure that I close this up. So let me see what I can do about that. So the spacing for closing, what is the spacing? I think it's this one. Let me what? 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 Okay, let me put this shape here and see what will come out. Okay, so now I just have to push it so that it will align with the other with the other lines here. So space, 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 space. I'll just uh, estimate there. Oh, I'm good at, at, at estimating. Like, wow. I just aligned my line very fine. So if it didn't align, just just play around with the space. Just space out or reduce the space if it's too much. This is pretty. This is pretty much straightforward, right? So um, we are also wanna play out with. Let's see. Um, where did I put? Let's say I put a space here. I wanna see what what my shape will come out like. Okay, so it, so the outer parties have been moved out. So I think I also have to do that to this part also. Space out. Yes. Now I'm only left with the spacing out the middle part, and I can do that by where where am I presenting the group? Yep, I'm presenting it here. So if I space here. Now you find out now the, the one is no longer attached to this group, so our shape is coming out very fine. So we now have to like change the value here of this. So to do that, we we'll just come where we are writing the group, and instead of one, I'll just like percent d. And then the value that I'm gonna use here, um, I'll use the g value because it is the one which is presenting the groups. So G here and print. Okay, so we are having our shape, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. And uh, the shape is very much fine. Let me just quickly see what I can do with the displaying part. Uh, I wanna like separate uh, the histogram from this data. So first I think I'll duplicate this. Ctrl J for duplicating, then new line. Then um I wanna separate this. What 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 symbol could I use? Uh, this one, this one with this work no. Let me just make use of um let me try this. Yeah this 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 okay let me run that oh I didn't close this so before running, let me close this. Okay. Okay. So we kind of separate this, but still it's not quite looking nice. So um, we are we having our new line here? So let me copy this new line again and put it here. And put it here. And also, I think I can just copy, 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 copy. I can copy this. So I just want to like put like a line to just separate the the things I'm printing out here. So this is this is in, in this is in the important, right? It's just that I'm now just separating these things. And um, here I will need a new line so that I won't mess up with my group new line and um, print this okay so I think here we don't need a line so where is this new line it is here okay okay oh no 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 here I is it is it here okay I, it's here and here we don't need new lines here okay so what else can I do? Can I separate this part? Can I separate this part? Can I separate these parts? Can I separate that? Um, I'm just gonna grab this copy and uh, after pre printing out 
after printing out the histogram, I think I can can also just put another line there, right? So I'm just trying to organize my work here. That's what I'm just trying to do. It's not that much important, but I think now it's a little bit organized. Okay. Um. And uh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Where are my printing out? I think I can use this. And uh, oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. So this is now very much close to what I need. Right? This is very much close to what I need. And. Uh, uh, now my work is now organized so down in the description below you'll find a link to my website just click it and it'll take you to this page so the website isn't yet finished so uh it is saying like the content you need is available in this page but if you're interested in some of the features we offer just provide your details here right so if you're interested just in the details and click the submit button if you're not very fine just go down here and you'll find the button to download the, the program files so here the download button just click it and it will take you to this page and then the website will be checking like have you subscribed or not so if you haven't subscribed to the channel just click on the subscribe button and wait for it to write like subscription area then go back to the website and the link will be available for you to download click the link and the download will be done so let's say um you you have already subscribed to the channel let me just refresh this page and um if you really like click on the subscribe button the website still will be checking if you subscribed or not so just wait for the page to load up like this and then go back and uh wait for it to finish checking up and then click on the download button so i think i like downloaded a lot of these things let me just go okay so the download is is pretty much simple now go to the downloads so I downloaded a lot of these files. Let me just delete one of these. And then I uh, click on the file, and uh, the, the the file is compressed, so you can extract it using WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, Windows have its own built-in function for extracting files. So just use that. So the file is encrypted. So the password for this is at Juritronics. So this is the name of the YouTube channel you won't forget this so all of my program files will be encrypted with this password so just click on add continue and then the files will be done and uh this is the file so you can now open this in, on your ide so that's pretty much all for this tutorial i hope you liked it and please don't forget to click on the like button so help me like smash youtube algorithm by clicking on that like button thank you guys for watching.